Hi everyone. So today we will be discussing a problem from one of the YouTube channel, a new YouTube channel, uh, IIT and Solves, and uh, he picked a very good problem from uh, Boot, and I loved this problem. It's not very hard problem, easy to approach, but this is a problem which has multiple solutions, and I will be providing you a solution, an alternate solution from his one. Okay. So he used the concept of cube roots of unity. Uh, I will be trying to provide you a solution that is completely using polynomials. Okay. So the question says that if h square plus h plus one is a factor of this, then the roots are then it's uh, you can say the other root is or something like that. Okay. But let's see how we should approach this problem without using complex number. Okay. And it was, I think, given that A, B, C, D are real. Uh, well, even if it's not given, nothing required of that sort of information. So, by factor theorem, I can definitely write A, H, Q plus B, H square plus C, H plus D equal to A times H square plus H plus 1. Now, already we have written a quadratic factor and this is a cubic polynomial. So, uh, the, uh, the other factor is surely a linear. So, let us assume h minus alpha and we have to find this alpha only. Okay. Now, this let us open the bracket. So, we will get a times h cube minus alpha h square. Uh, a h a times h cube minus alpha h square plus h square minus alpha h plus h minus alpha. So this can be written as a times a times h cube plus h square times one minus alpha. Plus h times 1 minus alpha minus alpha. And now we will just compare the coefficients. Alright. So comparing the coefficients, we get b is equal to 1 minus alpha. We will get c equal to 1 minus alpha. Sorry, 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 sorry. We will get B upon A is equal to 1 minus alpha. Because we have an A in multiplication here. So, B upon A is 1 minus alpha. We will have C upon A equal to 1 minus alpha. And we will have D upon A as minus alpha. So, what I have done here is just compared the coefficients. Alright. We have just compared the coefficients here. Now, alpha can be 1 minus b by a or 1 minus c by a or minus d by a. So, any one of them could be alpha. Now, what could have been a better question than this is, according to me, that if h square plus h plus 1 is a factor of this, then find relation between a, b, c, d. Because then we would have 1 minus b by a equal to 1 minus c by a equal to minus d by a. Because it is the same root, right? So, all these would have been equal. And from here, we would have b equal to c. And D as uh, D D as A minus B. All right. So a better question would have been find the relation between A, B, C, and D. So this was it. A small video on a good question. We'll meet again in the next video.